Hello. Hello. It's me. Θα το φτιάξω εδώ. Μ' ακούς, μ' ακούτε. Οκ, σε ακούμε. Λίγο πιο δυνατά ίσως να έρθει, λίγο πιο κοντά μάλλον. Εδώ. Τέλεια. Ωραία. Hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, I am fine. And what about you? Τι κάνεις? Είμαι πολύ καλά. I just uh, flew in from London. So I had a nice experience out there. Now I'm back in Athens right now. Oh, great. Um, I'm sure that you have many beautiful things to share with us today, Evangelia. <laughs> Uh, we are going to uh, speak some Greek as well, but uh, later on. So um, let's start with introducing you. Everyone knows you and loves you in Greece, but I want you, I want to give the stage to you and say a few things about yourself. Um, you know, some stuff. Που γεννήθηκες, αν θες να μας πεις τι σπούδασες, που μεγάλωσες. The stage is yours. Έγινε, ευχαριστώ. Um, hi everybody. So I was born in New Jersey and my mom is Italian American and my dad is from Crete, an amazing island in Greece. And basically after a month um, that I was born, my parents took me to Crete to meet my family in Greece and I had been living there every summer since on a farm with my yaya. And So Greece and Greek culture and the language has always been a big part of my life. And it was my first language, only spoke Greek at home with my dad. And my American mom learned Greek as well. And she speaks pretty well. Sure. Um, so I'm actually very impressed by her Greek. Um, do you speak Italian as well? I, I do speak Italian, but it's not fluent the way I speak English and Greek. Because unfortunately, my it was my great grandfather that came over from Italy. and then they lost the language. It wasn't passed down. Mm-hmm. So I had to choose to learn it in school in order to get in touch with, with those roots. So yeah, so I speak, I would say like high level intermediate Italian, <laughs> but not, not fluent. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Great. But yeah, and then I, I went to Rutgers University. I studied history and political science. I have my master's in elementary special ed and I was a full-time teacher. Um, and it's the only other thing I could see myself doing besides music. And when I was a teacher, I was teaching by day and running around New York City by night, trying to do everything I possibly could with music. And then I got laid off because of budget cuts after three years of teaching. And I saw it as an opportunity to go for my dreams. And now I've been releasing music and kind of... Evangelia. I guess, uh, okay, you chose to study humanities and teaching in particular education, but I guess that music was always a uh, part of your inner yeah. Evangelia. Someone was knocking oh. the door and you, you, were, you were waiting for the moment to open. Oh. Like in elementary school when people would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up, it was either a teacher or a singer. And, uh, okay, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah, and I would, I would watch American Idol with my family and I would always wonder, mm, I wonder what Simon Cowell would say if I auditioned and I would just create, you know, scenarios in my brain and, and daydream about becoming a singer one day. Uh, Evangelia, you were a teacher in New Jersey? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I taught uh, a few different things. I taught kindergarten, fifth grade, and then in my last year I taught sixth grade science and social studies. So very different from what I'm doing right now. <laughs> um, when did you start officially? I mean, um, you took the decision to go full on and pursue the career of, the, of, the, of a singer. Uh, that's uh, when you moved to LA or correct me if I'm wrong. It was, it was a little bit before. So I was living in Jersey City when I was a teacher and that's how I, and I was doing my music thing, teaching by day, running around doing music by night in New York City. And that was, I got laid off end of um, the school year 2018. And then basically a few months later, I met Jay Stolar, who's now my 
life partner, love of my life, but we also make all the music together. He's a producer songwriter, not Greek, by the way, but he's learning Greek. I actually got him on. He's the team. one. Oh, he's, oh wait, this is a perfect. And he plays bouzouki though, so he's already, you know. I, I wanted, I wanted to ask you that because uh, I really appreciate your your life. In many of your lives, they, they are closer to the acoustic standards. I mean, they are, it's unplugged and it's only one bouzouki. And okay, uh, now we know who is the guy with the bouzouki. Yes. And uh, I really appreciate that, um, you know, you're not afraid to expose yourself in, uh, in a situation with only bouzouki, which bouzouki is something unusual to, right. I, I mean, you use it like a guitar, uh, in yeah. a guitar way. Uh, so it's only your voice and bouzouki. Yeah. You, and, uh, Uh, so this is something very demanding for a professional uh, singer. Um, so I really uh, like that. I really enjoy this, this thing. Uh, we are going to elaborate more about the music, sti music style a little bit later. Uh, your, uh, your friend has an open invitation for joining the uh, Glossonauts pirate ship in the Greek language. So consider this too. Uh, I guess she already... Uh, no, the basic vocabulary you have taught him, I guess. He knows, yeah, he knows some of the basics. It's a lot, it's, Greek is not the easiest language to learn, um, but he's, he's working on it and, and in time. He wants hey, Bagelian, uh, tell, me, tell me something. Um, is his mother tongue is English? Yes. So, today is the International Greek Language Day. Okay, you, you did a great post, a great story. Uh, posting some words that many right. people think that are, are English, but are in fact they are Greek. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we always say before, you know, the course and it, our purpose is to make Greek a viral language. And to English speakers, we say that, you know, you speak Greek even though you don't know it. Uh, right. So, so tell him that he speaks Greek even though he don't know it. Exactly. <laughs> I'll pass, I'll pass it on. <laughs> um, And so, tell me, um, now your base is in, the, uh, in L.A., right? Yeah, L.A. is my base. I moved there, um, when did I move there? I moved there 2020. I, I started going back and forth because after I, I left teaching, then my schedule opened up and um, Jay and I would travel between L.A. and New York. And then the pandemic happened and we kind of got stuck in LA and decided to stay there. Um, and I realized, wow, winter's way better there. So we, uh, but it, it's great. And, and most of our friends from New York that were in music now all live in LA too. So we have a nice community of people and um, the music industry's there. It's, it's a great place to be. And yeah, so I'm technically in LA. However, I'm currently this winter in Athens. Um, because of my residency at Teatro with uh, Argyros and Ruvas. So I'm opening direct support at their show every Friday, Saturday. So it's my first time I've actually lived in Athens this long, ever. So, And I think that this is something that uh, you enjoy, right? I mean, you yeah. do what you love, you're, uh, you're in Athens. Um, and I think that... Mm, okay, LA is good, New Jersey is good, but you know, the atmosphere of Greece in general uh, will give you this, the boost that you want. I mean, both in terms of inspiration and yeah. um, you get the, the appreciation of the people here that really liked your job. And this is something that I, I'm very happy to because I know we are almost in the same age. We're doing stuff that uh, they are not, they don't follow the, the stream, let's say. We're doing Uh, something with our own twist mm -hmm. and, and yeah I really enjoy uh, seeing that people in Greece love you very much do you feel that you. I do feel a lot of love I feel a lot of love when I'm here and I appreciate it so much and I'm really enjoying living here and getting to be in Europe um, in the winter and Athens is an amazing city there's always something going on it's so alive and I joke around with my friends, like people say New York City is the city that never sleeps. That is not true. Athens, Greece is the city that never sleeps. <laughs> well, 
I'm like, come on, guys, the bazooka, they're, they're singing until like 7 a.m. Um, it's, it's really, really fun. And I feel very grateful to have the opportunity to experience this. Um, you know, I was just, I just flew to London for a couple of days. It's, I, I, living in LA, I'm so far away from all other countries, pretty much, and everything else, and uh, at least on the European continent. So it's a really cool experience to get to be here right now. And, and okay, you already make a comparison between the nightlife between, uh, you know, the States and Greece. Yeah. Please give us an indicative picture. To give us a picture of, uh, of what it means to live in the LA as a Greek, Amer Greek slash Italian American. I don't know. Um, so, um, are there uh, Greek communities in where you live? Um, mm -hmm. What's the, the thing there? Yeah, um, there's a lot of different cultures, as you know, in the, in the US, there's a bunch of us from all different parts of the world that are all living amongst each other, which is something very nice and that I enjoy and get to share my Greek culture with my friends who are not Greek. Um, I know when I first moved there, I did, um, I hosted a Greek Easter before I knew any Greek people and I invited all of my American friends and I cooked them like everything. <laughs> I mean, them spanakovita, musaka, pastitia, like everything. Uh, Evangelia, sorry, I, I will interrupt you. Uh, we saw that you are, um, you made some videos with our friend Ariana Papalexopoulos. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, which so she became a friend. She became a friend and I started meeting more Greek people actually through Instagram. Um, but I also moved during the pandemic, so it was a little bit harder. And now um, Thanasi from Excuse Me, Are You Greek is a very good friend. And he's introduced me to a lot of people. And I'm looking forward to when I go back to L.A. of connecting even more with the, with the Greek community out there. And doing the Greek community there. Mm -hmm. uh, do, you, do, you, um, do you go to, um, you know, to places or... Or, or not bars, but you know places where you can listen, you you can expose to Greek uh, music uh, in LA. Mm, there aren't really any that I know of that would play. I mean, really, when I did my concert there, it was probably one of the first times Greek music was played at the Peppermint Club in Los Angeles, uh, which I'm very proud of. I love that, you know, some of the feedback that I got from non Greek non Greeks and industry people that came to the show was that like. Did not, it did not feel like they were in LA. It was like some other place. And I was like, that is the goal. I want you to come into my world when you come to my concert. Um, and then yeah, the only other time it felt uh, when I, uh, when I, Eli Kokinu came to LA and I opened for her and I was like, this is the most Greek people I've ever seen in a room all at once. It was like 600 people. And I was like, where are, where do you all live? But LA is so spread out. So it's, uh, yeah. You mentioned that you really enjoyed when people came to your show and say, you know, I feel that I felt that I was uh, somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Can you describe this destination that want that you want your your the, the, mm -hmm. the people that came to enjoy your music to go to travel? Yeah. Um, because I see uh, the the way that I uh, I perceive your music is a combination of um, you have much, you know, modern elements, mm -hmm. but I feel that deep inside you, there is a small uh, girl from Crete that uh, dances, uh, you know, the beautiful Paradosiak Kihori Tis Kritis, and really enjoy, enjoy herself. Yeah. Tell, tell us about that. Yes, deep down, that is exactly what's going on. I feel like I'm also... I appreciate the traditions a lot, um, especially having grown up in New Jersey and so far away from Greece from a lot of the year. I think that makes you appreciate the culture and the language even more because you have to try hard to hold on to it. But I was always drawn to the traditional Greek dancing and, and all of that from a very young age. And it, even though when I, was, I was five years old when I started dancing and but it was like, She might be reincarnated. She's dancing the sirto like she's done this a long time. <laughs> um, and I just have always felt like a deep connection to it. And my yaya always 
she really loved the traditional dances and was very proud that I would dance them. Your yaya from Crete. Yes, my yaya from Crete, yeah. So, yeah, so I love to just bring that part of myself out in my concerts and my shows and in my music um, because I kind of joke around like I'm 50-50. I'm 50% American, 50% Greek, and that's essentially what my music is <laughs> uh, too. So there's this there's this interesting combination that happens and an interesting and I think unique world that I get to share with people when they come to my show. And personally, my, my town is Xanthi, it's from, it's, uh, do you know Xanthi? It's in the... I do know Xanthi, but I've never been. Okay, so now you have an open invitation to come yeah. and visit us with your friend or <laughs> when you want. Uh, so, uh, in Xanthi, we have a close uh, relation with Manos Hadzidakis. Manos okay. Hadzidakis, which was, um, you, know, you know him, but for the people who, who listen to us, uh, Manos Hadzidakis was one of the most famous Greek composers, and he won an Oscar for his music with, uh, uh, for the movie Never on Sunday with Melina Mercury and Zilda Sen. I love that song. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say this right now. Uh, <laughs> And Hadzidakis was born, his father was from Crete. So it's your part from Crete, Hadzidakis, the ending Akis, which is Kritikos. Nice. Uh, his mother was from Eastern Thrace. And he, uh, he was born in, uh, in Xanthi and he was living here until he was seven years old. Um, I think that you, uh, you have, you, do, you, do you feel, do you, feel that there's a connection be between you and uh, ma the music of Manos Hadzidakis, this sweet melancholy that comes out from his music? Sweet melancholy is a good way to describe it. It's like there's always something missing, like that you're missing something. Yeah. Um, and I feel that, I feel like I'm somebody who, I, I feel sweet melancholy because I'm from two different places. So, you know, when I'm in LA, I'm missing. You're a hybrid, <laughs> you're a hybrid model. Yeah, I'm hybrid. I'm just always, I'm always longing for something. Um, you're searching, you're investigating. I'm always searching, yeah, always searching and missing something. Um, but yeah, I, I love his music. I think it's beautiful and I think it's timeless. And I think that the Padilla Tu Pirea, Never on Sundays, one of the, I, I, it, I think it's just one of the greatest songs. And tell us about number. tell us about the the cover you did, which is yeah. uh, one of my favorite um, melodies that uh, I I listened from you. Thank you. Yeah, it's such a it was such a fun cover to come up with. Um, it was pretty random. Jay and I were in our. I remember we did it during the pandemic. We were in our room where we were staying. and I, at that point in time, I was obsessed with listening to Colores, which is. Uh, J, Bal J Balvin's album that came out at the time and Amarillo was one of my favorite songs on it. And we were like listening to it. And I, in the meantime, I had also shown Never on Sunday. And I honestly forget how uh, the idea even really came to be. But we realized as we were jamming that the melody of Amarillo worked as a mashup with Never on Sunday. And so we got to it and did the cover. And um, it was really just really special to be able to combine two completely different songs seemingly, but the, the content of the lyrics is actually very similar um, because Never on Sunday talks about a woman who's just trying to be free and live her life and like not make things complicated. I think the movie was so ahead of its time and she's just a free spirit. And the, the chorus in Amarillo is actually basically saying that. It's like, I don't want, don't let things be complicated. Um, y yo, no me complico, como te explico? You know, it's like, don't complicate things. And so it actually works in multiple you ways. You find the dialogue. So you find the dialogue between two very beautiful music pieces. Yeah. And you work like a glue. You were the connecting <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that put them together. Yeah. And again, I, um, I think the cover is only Buzuki and your voice, or you, you it's... Uh, yeah, it's something. just Buzuki, my voice, and Jay's beatboxing as well. Mm -hmm. drums. Yeah, so it's yeah. something very, very, you know, modern, very um, uh, fresh, uh, but at the same time, there is a look in the past. And 
uh, for the Greek people, you know, the past is huge. It's very, uh, it's very important and very big as well. And it's really great for the, for us as the, as the younger generation to do our do our thing, do our uh, twist, but always uh, know and acknowledge w which is our base, our foundation. And you very seem to to have very solid foundation, and you know about that. Thank you, Hershto Pali. <laughs> Uh, so, guys, if you haven't checked this cover, you definitely uh, have to see this. In the, uh, before we close this live, Evangelia will share with us all the ways that we can uh, support and share her music. I will return back to the, to the Greek communities in the uh, States. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the, tell us your experience learning Greek Either you went in, in the house or did you go uh, to the Sunday Greek school, you tell us. So what's your experience in language, in Greek language learning? Let's shift yeah. in this topic. Yeah, so I'm very lucky that since the day I was born, uh, my dad spoke to me in Greek. A month later, I went to Greece and heard a bunch of Greek. So I, I as a child, at the time where it really helps the most, Literally from the day I was born, I was hearing Greek and spending time in Greece. So uh, it was my first language and I was able to be fluent. Um, but in order to read and write, I had to go to Greek school. And I would Greek go... Evangelia. Okay, I like this one. Sorry, I, I read some comments. Greek Evangelia. Okay, this is a nice adjective. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, so in order to learn how to read and write, I had to go to Greek school, which was once a week at my church. And like most kids, I dreaded it, <laughs> but I'm very grateful that I'm <laughs> now. Um, I'm, you know, it's kind of the running joke. Nobody, nobody wants to go to any tutoring or anything outside of school. Um, but I'm so grateful that I did because now, you know, now I'm living here in Athens. I'm also writing and, and, and reading easily as I'm here. Uh, so that's kind of how that education happen and we would you know you, mm -hmm. do, our, do our poems and pre like you know the I, have you heard about like the greek school presentations that we would do we, we'd mm -hmm. always always have to like memorize a poem and recite a greek poem for something and it was just we collected Boy. greek americans have like a collective greek school experience of both trauma and good things i would say you know, it, it really, um, you're active in social media uh, mm -hmm. and I see many of your uh, videos, you combine, for example, Greek and English uh, in a song yes. uh, or uh, other languages. And this is something very creative and uh, from the linguist perspective, I really enjoy that blend. Thank that you. Do. Thank you. It's fun to show. And again, these are these two languages that you promote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that live inside. Yeah, and, no. and I yeah, want people no. to hear yeah. Greek too and realize that it's a beautiful language and hear it in a familiar way of, you know, a melody of a popular song that they already know. Mm -hmm. Cool to hear it in another language. I think that this is your strong element and this is something that you have to keep as you progress. Um, you know, many people and many artists that are Greeks and live okay, in the States, mm -hmm. um, they, I'm not saying to promote the Greek identity, uh, but in a subtle way, but like you did, you say, okay, I love the language and you, in your work, it kind, it is, uh, it is open to the people. So right. it's something that comes out of you very naturally. So yeah. um, I think that this is something that you have to keep. It's very, um, it, it makes you unique in a way. Thank you so much. I plan to keep it for sure. And people here ask, one guy said, uh, wait, wait, wait. Θέλω να μιλήσει ελληνικά. Αυτό είπα γενικά. Ωραία. Μιλάμε τώρα ελληνικά. Ήταν το πρώτο πόρσο ελληνικά. No, we, we, don't, we don't put labels. Um, so, uh, in LA, uh, people speak Greek. Uh, or in New Jersey, μιλάνε ελληνικά. No, no, no. There's uh, there's huge Greek communities, especially in New Jersey. Huge Greek community. Um, my 
my dad was part of the uh, Pan Cretan Association of America, Pagritikianos y Americis. And he was the cultural chairperson and was always bringing different events over. Um, but yeah, the Greek Orthodox churches in on the East Coast, I know, are super strong. And now having moved to LA, I went to, before the pandemic, a Greek festival at a Yesofia, which is the church that uh, Tom Hanks and, and Rita Wilson go to, which is exciting. But uh, it was oh, fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All the Greek <laughs> celebrities. Um, but it was just cool to see Greek people and non-Greeks appreciating um, Greek culture there. So if you, if, so, if you want to practice, or let's say, let's say that you woke up one day and θέλεις να μιλήσεις μόνο ελληνικά. Mm-hmm. Δεν θες να μιλήσεις ελληνικά. Ξέρεις που θα πας, υπάρχουν επιλογές να είσαι να μιλήσεις ελληνικά. Ε, δεν έχω βρει στο LA για αυτό ah. το πράγμα. Α, θα πάρω τηλέφωνο την παρέα μου στην Ελλάδα, στην Αθήνα, στην Κρήτη, να μιλήσουμε ελληνικά ή θα πάρω τον μπαμπά μου. Αλλιώς, ε, γενικά, είναι αγγλικά στο LA. Ναι. Ε, πάντως, να σου πω ότι τα ελληνικά σου είναι τέλεια και το γράψανε και κάτω. Ε, φαίνεται, δηλαδή, ότι κάνατε καλή δουλειά στο σπίτι και, και στο σχολείο για πιο formal stuff, αλλά φαίνεται ότι το, το αγαπούσες. Το αγαπούσες και είναι φανερό αυτό. Ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ. Ε, ε, εδώ ο κόσμος στέλνει την αγάπη από Ρόδο, λένε Greek Ευαγγελία, στέλνουν την αγάπη τους. Γεια <laughs> σας. Yes. Okay, guys, if you, if you want to ask something, me or Ευαγγελία, uh, before, we, before we close, it will be great. Uh, okay, mm, a lot of Greek in Quebec. Okay. Πότε That's θα κυκλοφορήσει you... το πάλι, παιδιά, I'm working on it soon. Τι θα γίνει με το πάλι, ε, αυτό ήθελα να σου το πω πάρα πολύ. Ο κόσμος ε, <laughs> αναζητά το πάλι. Soon, παιδιά, I'm, I'm working on it. Ε, ok. Three uh, funny words in Greek from Ευαγγελία. Funny <laughs> words. <laughs> τι λέξεις. Θες να μας πεις σας τι λέξεις. Ναι, πρέπει να σκεφτώ. Να σου πω κάτι. Εγώ δεν θα σου πω αστείε λέξει. Θέλω να μα πει τρει αγαπημένε σου λέξει. Τρει λέξει που τι ακού, τι αγαπά και λε. Ωραία. Εδώ είμαστε. Είναι μία που το λέω συχνά. Το έχω και ακόμα στο πάιο μου, νομίζω. Αλλά η αγαπημένη μου λέξη είναι μεράκι. Και μου αρέσει πάρα πολύ αυτή η λέξη γιατί είναι μοναδική στην ελληνική γλώσσα και δεν μπορείς να τη μεταφράσεις. Δεν υπάρχει αντίστοιχη λέξη στα αγγλικά. Um, so I realized I should probably say that in English for some people. My favorite word is μεράκι. And it, there's no direct translation in English. Um, and what it basically means is putting so much love and heart and soul into whatever it is that you're doing that you leave a part of yourself with it. And I like to think that μεράκι is a part of everything that I do, and I try to think of Meraki all the time. Um, it's kind of my life motto, so it's one of my favorite words. And I'm, I don't have any tattoos. I'm probably never going to get any tattoos, but if I were to get a tattoo, I would probably get Meraki. <laughs> That's how much I love the you word. Can. You can. Yeah. Evangelia, you already made this tattoo, but it, it is in- invisible. You are the yeah, only... It's in my heart. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, favorite Greek Eurovision entry? Elena Paparizou. Okay. Of course. The one and only. The one, the one and, and only. only. Akrivos, pragmatika, one and only. Okay. See somebody said favorite Greek food? Um, Spanakopita. Ne. Spanakopita, skepti Spanakopita ke kolokitho ke spedes. Έχει κάποια από αυτά τα μαγείρευε και η γιαγιά σου ή είχε κάποια αγαπημένα από γιαγιά, έχεις... Ναι, σπανακόπιτα φτιάχναμε. Κολοκυθοκευτέδες όχι τόσο. Αυτούς τους έμαθα πιο πολύ στις ταβέρνες. Ελαφρίες Α... επιλογές βλέπω, ελαφρίες επιλογές. Ναι, πολύ ελαφρές. Ε, ναι, ελαφρίες. Ε, τα, τα καλιτσούνια όμω τα κριτικά, τα χανιώτικα που έχουν το σπανάκι και τη μυζήθρα, που είναι σαν τη σπανακόπιτα αλλά κάτι άλλο. Και ναι, τρελαίνομαι. Oh, great. 
Μαγειρεύει. Μαγειρεύω. Ναι. Όταν έχω χρόνο και όταν δεν βαριέμαι, μαγειρεύω. Αλλά τώρα που είμαι Αθήνα, βγαίνω έξω και όλα είναι έτοιμα, γρήγορα και νόστιμα και, κα... και καλή ποιότητα. Οπότε δεν μαγειρεύω τόσο. Στο Ελλά ή μαγειρεύω περισσότερο. Μέχρι πότε θα είσαι, μέχρι πότε θα εμφανίζεσαι Ευαγγελία Ρωτάει Κόσμος στην Αθήνα Θα είμαι, είναι μέχρι τέλη Απριλίου λένε τώρα Οπότε κάθε Παρασκευή και Σάββατο είμαι στη σκηνή Και αμέσως μετά ανεβαίνουν ο Γυρός και ο Ρουβάς Uh, so every Friday and Saturday, people can enjoy you in Athens. And yes. you want to give us some information in English for? Yeah. So every weekend, I have a really amazing residency in Athens at this place called Teatro. It's a big theater here, and I am um, direct support for two of the most amazing and iconic Greek artists, Kostadinos Argyros and Sakis Rubas. And I hit the stage at twelve. 40 basically am um as the opener so remember when we said greek people never sleep they come on later at like 1:15 or 1:20 when i'm done um but yeah i have the information the flyer is pinned on my profile so in order to go you can call the phone number to reserve a table that's on the flyer for teatro athens and i hope you can come και εμείς θέλουμε πολύ να έρθουμε αν να κατεβούμε αθηνά ε, θα σου στείλω να μας κρατήσεις μια ναι. θεσούλα. Ναι, 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 ναι. Πρέπει, οπωσδήποτε. Οκ. Okay. And, uh, tell us, give us some information how, you know, uh, the Glossons community is based on people that are learning Greek and the purpose for this live is we want to, uh, to we want them to see uh, what is happening in the cultural uh, level mm-hmm. right now. So, uh, Tell us how these people can find you and the people that don't know you, how uh, will they, uh, you know, see your, uh, your work? You are yes. everywhere, so, okay, you can share I'm with us. I'm everywhere. Um, so you can find me here on Instagram. My little profile's right up there. Um, okay. It's at Evangelia. And that's how you can find me on TikTok as well. And Evangelia. Um, mm-hmm. YouTube. Yeah, if you just search Evangelia, If you literally just put Evangelia on Google, it'll bring you to all of the all of the pages. And I love to share things. I, I, on TikTok at one point, I was doing like Greek word of the week and I was, you know, teaching some Greek words. And I just like to share my art and my culture. Evangelia, we have to do a collaboration on a, a, linguist, a language content also together. So we have... Yes, we, uh, do. Yes, we um, do. I would love that. And I, I'm really, you know, I'm really happy that you're, uh, είσαι ευαισθητοποιημένη και θέλεις να ασχοληθείς με, τα, με, αυτά που, με την ελληνική γλώσσα και με την πρόθεσή της. This is great. Yes, um, I'm σε έχουμε, βάλει στο, σε έχουμε βάλει στο πειρατικό τώρα, να ξέρεις. Δεν θα ξεφύγεις, είσαι κάπου εδώ πέρα, okay. στο, πειρα, στο πειρατικό. Τέλεια. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and okay, let's go to the final part uh, where I get silly. Okay, let me choose a, mm, mm, a filter which is um, appropriate for the occasion. Oh, that's fun. I didn't if even you want, if you that. want, you can, you can do the same. So feel oh. free. We are playing right now. Oh, okay, this is okay, a little dramatic. Wait, did I do that? Yeah, of course you can do that. Wait, oh. Να διαλέξω, να διαλέξω. I didn't know you could do this. Φωτιά, λοιπόν, το φωτιά ταιριάζει με αυτό που διάλεξες. Ναι, έτσι. Εγώ έχω το αντίθετο, είμαι λίγο πιο κρύο. Λοιπόν, σου λέω λέξεις και μου λες το πρώτο πράγμα που σε έρχεται στο μυαλό. Και θα κλείσουμε έτσι. Οκ. Okay, uh, I will give the words in Greek so you can answer in whatever language you want. So the okay. first one is... Yeah, this is a little too scary. Somebody is right. I'm going to just go... Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with this old school filter. <laughs> Vintage, okay. Vintage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, music. Um, beauty. Okay. Mm, Dascalos. Patience. 
Okay, say that one more time. Okay. <laughs> Gl- okay. Glico, glico. Delicious. Mm, διακοπές. Fun. And Greece. <laughs> Κρήτη. Παράδοση. Και Ελλάδα. Ιστορία. History. Mm-hmm. Ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ ε, και για... Το... για το μεράκι σου, για την όρεξή σου. Ε, νομίζω ότι θα, κάνεις, θα πετύχεις πάρα πολύ ωραία πράγματα και είναι πραγματικά τιμή μου που ε, ήρθες λίγο στο πειρατικό των γλωσσών αυτών. Thank you very much for for your time and your willing to participate in this live and help us inspire uh, as more people as possible, people that love the Greek language, the Greek culture, the Philelines, the Philelines, all the cosmos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we wish you the best of luck and you have an open invitation to see the northern part of Greece, which I think that maybe you're not so familiar with. It's true. It's true. I'm not as familiar with it. I want to... Explore more of Greece now. Okay. And... Have you been to Thessaloniki or not? I have been. I've been a few years, of course. I've been to go there. I have to go there. Okay. Uh, Greece is relatively small, but there are many places. Mm-hmm. Um, hope to... Uh, if you come to the north, um, we are waiting uh, to, you know, να σε ξαναγγίσουμε, να δεις την πόλη της Ξάνθης και τη Θράκη γενικότερα. Amazing. Uh, wish you the best of luck and mm. θες να, να στείλεις ένα μήνυμα εδώ στο, στον yeah. κόσμο που σου στείλει καρδούλες, φωτιές, έχει πιάσει φωτιά εδώ πέρα από το chat. Just thank you to everybody, thank you to you for the work that you do and spreading the love and language for our culture and um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to Now we have this connection. I'm going to come to Xanthi and see, see things. And yeah, let's make, uh, let's make some, let's teach people some Greek together. <laughs> yeah, great. Τέλεια. Καλή συνέχεια, Ευαγγελία. Σε αγαπάμε πολύ και καλή δύναμη. Καλό βράδυ. Γεια σας. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye.